Things have gotten interesting in Gotham. This is taking place during the time period in which Bruce Wayne had amnesia, and an event is put into motion that he originally had a hand in. But since he does have amnesia, he can't help the Robins figure it out. Dick Grayson, Tim Drake, Jason Todd, Harper Rowe, and Cassandra Kane have come together to face off against an enemy that they simply know as Mother, and her agent, Orphan. She apparently has the ability to turn anyone into a would-be assassin, and is able to take children and train them into soldiers. All of this is linked to an event from several years ago, during Dick Grayson's first year as Robin, when they were hunting Doc. Dr. Crane, also known as Scarecrow. The police ransacked Dr. Crane's apartment, but Batman had a lead as to where Crane might have gone. Batman and Robin went to the church across the street, St. Elijah, where Dr. Crane was meeting with someone named Orphan. Crane needs Orphan to bring him to Prong, and Orphan is apparently using the fear gas to stay lucid. Batman and Robin get ready to crash the meeting, but Orphan knows that they are coming, and so Crane and Orphan vanish without a trace. Luckily, Batman heard the words Prong quite often. Meanwhile, back at the current day, Grayson swings by the Drake's residence. Tim's parents. Last night, Bruce Wayne was attacked, and it's something that Tim should have been able to prevent, but for some reason he didn't. Concerned that one of his own may be compromised by Mother's attacks, Grayson decided to visit Tim's parents without Tim knowing. He was just gonna ask basic questions of Tim's parents until the doorbell rang and on the other side stood Poppy, his ex-partner who actually is compromised by Mother and she's holding an axe. While this is happening, Harper and Cassandra break into the church St. Elijah. Cassandra took Harper with her because she wanted to show her something, but since Cassandra doesn't speak, it's up to Harper to just follow her around and try to figure it out. Cassandra walks Harper over to a statue and presses a button, and that's when Orphan jumps out. He asks Harper why she would follow Cassandra. To make a connection with the girl? She is incapable after what they've made her into. Harper is in shock. This can't be happening. Grayson jumps out of the way as Poppy brings the axe down onto a chair, and they keep smashing things up as Grayson keeps dodging. That's when Tim's parents walk into a panic room and they activate the house's defenses. The whole house changes around and announces that human snares are coming. Grayson looks around in shock. What? Back at the church, Harper jumps in fighting Orphan, but he tosses her aside easily. She is in the most well-trained of the Bat family. That's when Cassandra jump kicks Orphan. He swings his sword at her and then she dodges falling over. Orphan then holds his hand out telling Cassandra to stop this, rejoin the family, and her response is kicking his sword into the sky and cutting his hand off with it. Orphan gets up dropping smoke pellets and he makes a run for it, but Harper thinking fast shoots a tracer onto Orphan's foot. She then walks over to ask Cassandra if she's okay. Cassandra turns around crying and Harper holds her. It's okay. You're okay. Back at the Drake residence, the house begins to fire snares at Poppy and Grayson over and over and Grayson dodges while fighting Poppy. He gets in a good headbutt, knocking her off her balance, and then he carries her out of the house as he breaks open the door. And that's when he sees standing in front of him is Tim, demanding to know what the heck is going on. He built this to get his family away from their life, and here Grayson is, bringing their life back to his family. Grayson told him that he just did what Bruce would have done. So Tim hits him over the face. I expect it from Bruce, not from you. And with that, he walks away. And Grayson doesn't have his answers as to why Tim seemingly didn't check the security. Several years ago, at the Kane County Airfield, Batman and Robin are chasing Scarecrow's plane, trying to stop him from going to Prague. Batman told Robin to pull back, but he refused, and he sped up, jumping onto the plane and prying open the door, only to find bombs. He quickly jumped off as it exploded behind him. The ground was very far away, but luckily, Batman had the Batwing come by and pick up the falling Robin. Back at the Batcave, Robin was furious that he failed. It's because of him that Scarecrow got away. Batman tells him to calm down and come to the party upstairs. Alfred would appreciate it, but Robin is furious furious at himself, and he tells him to just go. Bruce walks upstairs, and he quickly walks into the back garden, where an old acquaintance named Maxwell steps out to find him there. That's when they talk about Bruce's father, and Bruce's own legacy. Bruce explains that he took in an orphan boy, but Maxwell insists. When will Bruce meet Mrs. Wayne? Bruce shrugs it off. He has a bit of a darkness inside of him that doesn't really work well with relationships, and Maxwell tells him to look into that room. In there is his own wife. She cost Maxwell $40 million. There is a person named Mother who can get you exactly what you're looking for for the right price. But then Maxwell stops what he's saying when he sees another man eyeballing him. Bruce goes back down into the Batcave to do a facial scan on that man and it comes back with nothing. And then when he goes to look at the security cameras from Maxwell's home, Orphan steps into frame knocking out the camera. Batman panics and he climbs into the Batmobile speeding off to see what's going on, but he arrived too late. Maxwell and the woman were already dead and Batman was picking up traces of fear toxin on the scene, so it was settled. Batman and Robin were going to Prague to see how this all links together. Back in the current day, Grayson shows up at the apartment that he put Harper and Cassandra in to pick them up because he's gonna bring them all to Prague. 
So Grayson is going to follow the trail from that mission all of those years ago by following Orphan's Tracer. Once they arrive in Prague though, they lose the Tracer. Luckily, the list that Cassandra brought them earlier is helpful because only one person on it is still alive in Prague, the Prima of the Prague Ballet. So Grayson tells Harper and Cassandra to find the Prima before Orphan does, and he loans them some clothes to wear. While they do that, Grayson will track down Orphan. While this is going on, Jason and Tim chat about what happened, because Jason understands what it means to be the Robin that no one trusts. Over in Prague, the girls go to the ballet, and it's the first time that Cassandra is getting to experience all of this. A nice dress, a nice night out, and a fantastic show. Then the Prima of the Ballet comes onto stage, and Cassandra's eyes grow with anger, and she says the one thing that she can, Mother. Grayson has been following around Prague, following the message, and that's when he finds the tracker. They knew that they were there, and the whole situation is a trap. He tries to call up Harper to let her know, but the signal is being blocked. And then a spotlight hits both of the girls, and everyone on the stage jumps off to fight them. While this is going on, an elderly woman with white hair shows up in front of Grayson. Hello, Dick. It's nice to see you again. Several years ago, a similar scene was happening when Bruce and Dick Grayson came to this very same ballet, and Bruce walked into this very same back room to find a young woman woman with white hair but he knew her name and he referred to her as mother back in the present day mother approached dick telling him that she's wanted to talk while harper and cassandra get to work defending themselves harper starts trying to call out dick if you're alive we kind of need you but mother tells him that she jammed the signal they can't hear him mother then tells him he was never what batman wanted that's why bruce went to mother for a proper heir while this is going on cassandra and harper are fighting their hardest and mother grins they're putting up more of a fight than you did dick that's what bruce wanted someone with more fight which robin did you give him grayson asks oh you don't know it could be anyone goodness that doubt must gnaw to you years ago when bruce first saw mother bruce explained that he was looking for a particular woman he believes in mother's products but he was actually using this as a chance to drop a tracker on her she thanks him for his interest and she tells him that she'll be in touch back in the present day harper continues beating on as many as she can but just when one of them is about to get the drop on her cassandra throws an object into that woman's face then she runs over to battle against the prima of the battle lay herself. Cassandra is beating on her viciously until someone hits her over the head. An older woman walks over to the Prima and told her, look, you killed this one. You can stop now. The Prima seemingly snaps out of it and then she is helped off stage and Cassandra gets up from the blow to her head. She stumbles back out to find Harper looking at all of the would-be assassins that they need to fight. Meanwhile, Grayson realizes that he needs to help Harper and Cassandra. He has to go there, but Mother tells him, don't go. If they are strong, they will survive. And if they don't, well, they're useless. Dick tells her that he won't leave them, and she tells him, if you leave now, you'll never learn what Bruce did, and you'll never see my face again. But Dick made the obvious choice. He joined in the fight against the assassins until they beat back all of them. It's all about the family, but as they finished up, something startled Cassandra, and she ran off into the night. Harper and Dick both head back to the Prague Batcave, where they realize that they've lost track of Mother and Orphan. Dick looks over at Harper, and he tells her, hopefully Mother will make a mistake, and they will have a lead soon. And Harper asks him, what do we do next? We stick together, Harper. There's so few of us left as it is. While this is going on, since Tim is currently mad at Grayson, Jason and Tim have decided to follow up on their own leads, and they're going to go off on their own adventures. I hope you guys are enjoying the Batman and Robin Turtle series that we are bringing you every week right now on Saturdays. Don't forget, if you want to chat about this or any other video, follow me on Twitter at ComicStorian or follow me on Instagram at ComicStorian. And don't forget, we also have a gaming channel where we bring you video game comic books every Friday called Eligible Monster. I'll see you guys next time right here.